so those people who don't want to waste their time in learning all of the process of the making of this title you can just do one thing you can go to the link provided in the description below or i will pin that comment also in the comment section so you can either go to the comment section or you can go to the uh, description there will be a link provided there you can just click on it and you can get your title downloading a macro file which will be presented there and if you don't know how to use that macro file i have a dedicated video you can just click on it and use that macro file instead of learning all the sticks so thanks so hello everyone welcome to fusion studios and i'm back with another episode and in this one i'm gonna tell you how to make your text like this so to create this effect it's very simple you just need to understand some fusion basics and i'll tell you two three more new tricks and tips to make your text amazing okay I just click on this effects tab over here and it will open this effects library and here go to effects and then here you have adjustment clip and fusion composition beneath it so choose this fusion composition hold and drag it over to your timeline and just this way you have your fusion composition over here now you have to put your playhead on this fusion composition that you just put on your timeline and then click on it and just click on this fusion page over here you you have to just right click on it and then you have these two options and you can choose show icons only or show icons and labels with labels you have the naming over here but i know that which page is which one so i'll click on show icons only so that we have more room view board basically of our nodes yeah i mean here we put all the nodes okay and these two are our screens uh we'll just need one screen or one viewer you can say so first of all we're going to do is this is our basic toolbar default toolbar right here if you don't have it enabled so just right click anywhere on this gray area and just click on this default then you will have your uh, default toolbar now i'll quickly just take this background node and drag it up to here and as you can see that my node is snapping to this grid so how it is done is basically right click anywhere in the space and go to arrange tools and check this two grid two connected auto arrange check all of these basically the next node which we need is text node so click on this background node and first of all just connect your uh, background node to your media out node drag this click and drag from the square and you will have this pipe connected to this yellow output input of media out node then click on your background node and then click on this t uh, when we have these default toolbars so why don't we just use it okay so click on this background and then click on this t now our merge node is automatically created and we have this text node also over here so merge is basically taking this background and putting a text on top of this background very simple so here we will write anything we can write fusion studios and by the way i only have one hand available this time because i have i am holding mic from second hand so that's what this video is for you i'll increase its size up to 0.19 i guess yeah that looks fine and you can just view this viewer by coming up over here and click on this rectangle icon and now you just have one viewer okay i guess now you are able to see a little bit better now we don't need uh, to add any other node basically so we can drag it totally all the way till here okay and if yours is messed up something like this just click over here and hit control f it will automatically put it to the screen i'll also bring this over here and as we are on our text node already so let's do some stuff so what we need to do in order to create that effect is basically right click over here and you have all of these options you can animate it you can do character level styling these are basically modifiers the modifier which i'm going to use is follow on click on this and you can see that this modifiers tab was grayed out at first but now we can hover over it and click on it then you can see we have this one modifier which is follower one you can add multiple modifiers in it so i have this follower one it's very simple very basic the thing which we are doing is what 
please understand the basics first we need to create this effect in which this text is flickering very simple right so first of all we need to break down the flickering part so what you need to do is basically you need to animate this opacity and to animate this opacity just right click on this opacity and here you have many options basically you can animate it with a spline okay this publishes something else we'll discuss it uh, in another video you gotta click on modify with and then you have many options over here these are some presets which the Resolve has already in it so we'll click perturb this is basically noise i'll increase the strength increase the wobble and speed a little bit and you can choose any seed and as well i'll increase the value so now if i'll play i guess i need to increase the i'll just make value default and increase the speed as well so now if i play it we have this flickering effect right but one thing that we are not facing here is this flickering effect is happening to this whole text and we need to divide it to every character so how do we do that to divide it in every character we first need to go to our follower modifier and here in this timing section we can see there is an option of delay so first of all i'll increase this delay to 1.5 and you can even choose the delay type so again coming back to this follower modifier and uh, coming to this timing section here we have this order option so in here choose randomly but one by one or choose completely random now if you will play it then we will have this random effect okay so i'll also change its font and you can animate font also like this you can animate anything like this mm, i'll choose agency fb this font yeah i'll choose this font yeah i guess that looks good now if you want to create that neon effect so what you need to do is you just have to take this text and merge Click Ctrl C to copy it. Click anywhere in this node view and then Ctrl V to paste it. And then hold shift. And when you see this color change in the line, leave your merge node. Now it is connected. Okay. Nice. Now I'll go to this text. I'll delete this word you, word you, everything. I'll just delete everything. Every modifier basically. And now we have this, but we don't want this. I'll go to shading and here I'll select this. And now if I play it, we have this kind of effect, this flickering effect. Okay. You can play with its uh, thickness values. I'll just name these text tools. Uh, I'll click over here, click F2 and you will have your this pop up of renaming. And then I'll write here flickering underscore text all right now we have this line text okay and this flickering text is above this line text like as i told you this merge node is doing uh its job that it's taking this background and putting this line text above that black background then we have this flickering text above this line text and background because of this merge node all right so now if you will play it so you will have an animation like this and i guess that it is looking really good now another thing that you can do is basically you can add blue to this okay and play with its settings increase the glow size a little bit um, increase decrease the glow a little bit then blend it because we don't need that much of the glow and now if we'll play it so this will glow as well and yeah i guess that it this looks great 
Now comes the question that if you need to change its color or everything. See, you can now animate any, any property of it, which is present in this follower modifier. Like if I'll go to this text over here, you can animate the size. Again, right click on the size, modify with per tube, and you can do everything. So its size will also increase and decrease. Like for example, if I show you, I'll take per tube one and then value. Okay. So now what is going to happen is, We have this kind of effect, which is very bad, but I just showed you as for the example. So I'll remove 31 from it again by right clicking. You have this properties. Okay. Then you can also animate this emphasis, I guess. Now I'll click connect to again, 31 value. Um, yeah, we have this kind of cutting effect. So, I mean, it's up to you. You can animate any value with that. Again, if I come to over here and then put a value, and if I play, so we have this underlining effect also. So, it's totally up to you. You just have to play with it. I'll again remove, remove all from emphasis group. I'll remove this code again, remove this code again, and we don't have this and now I'll come to the shading tab and in shading tab guys we can literally change all of these settings we can play with all of these settings which is a big deal all right I'm serious I'll come to this appearance and then modify connect to per day one value and now what we have is an effect like this I know it is uh, quite bad, but still you can do that, which is a really good thing. So to change its color, you can either change its red, green, blue channel uh, separately. I'll show you again, right click on this red and then click on this. You can either add new modifiers or you can just connect to the modifier, which is already existing. So I am doing uh, this with the modifier, which is already existing. This party one, which we added. See, so now it's changing its red value, only red value. Now to change its blue value as well, you can go to, sorry, modifiers, follows to its green value. Then again, connect to party one value and I'll change its blue value to Connect to body value and now if I play it and because we are just changing it with one party only with one modifier only so that's why it is you can see it is having same values okay so what we can do is modify with sorry I'll just remove this body one and then right click then modify with another party and here again we can increase the strength wobble the speed i'll again come to this blue channel and here again modify and first we need to remove the already existing one and again modify with body you can even try these another modifier also okay but you again strength wobble speed all right and now if i play so we have this kind of effect this is kind of trippy, right? <laughs> I'll not do this anyway. I don't want to change its uh, color values. I just like it as it is. I like it to be white. And yeah, this is how you can create this flickering effect. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you got to learn something from this tutorial. And if you do, then do like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this as much as you can or press the bell icon so that you never miss any upcoming videos from Fusion Studios. And yeah, I hope that you got to learn many things from this. And if you still have any kind of queries or questions, just comment down below and I'll give you the appropriate answer for your question. Till then, be creative and bye-bye. Sayonara.